Anyway, without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Here is Outer World. Huh. Okay. Character customization. So my playthrough, this first playthrough, I'm gonna focus on talking my way out of situations if, if possible. I wanna be a charming, intelligent character. I wanna use my mind and use my ability to talk my way out of situations rather than having to fight people and like, you know, brute force my way out of it. This first playthrough, I don't wanna have to do any of that. So if we're gonna do that, that means we need to have higher intelligence, we need to have higher charm. In case I do need to shoot somebody, I wanna have higher perception so I can like really get out of situations. I wanna make sure my dialogue skill is up high. So now I can persuade people and make humans cower. I can lie and make auto mechanicals attack other auto mechanicals, other enemies, or I can intimidate creatures. My defense is mad weak. I'm not gonna be able to block a damn thing. If someone runs up on me, they're just gonna rob me. So I need, I need my gang to help back me up. I'm trying to be like a mob boss in this playthrough. I'm gonna increase my stealth. Why do I want to do that? I want to be able to hack. I want to be able to lockpick. And if I get caught, I want to be able to talk my way out of the situation. You know, I want to be able to smoothly wiggle, worm my way through out of a situation. For my character, I would have had to be a mascot. Boom. Oh, the damage to your soul may now, be to create my character. If I have the time to make it as close to me as possible, but that ain't gonna happen. Now nah, I'll go with the mustache. I want to feel a little bit more like me. And this is at the most amount of facial hair I can actually grow is this right here. So I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. Okay. This is Cyforce. Hear me roar. Welcome to Outer Worlds. So let's do, a, let's do a quick recap as to what's been going on. So here at Edgewater, where our dear Pravati, who is currently wearing a helmet, she's working for this company. It's like a canning company, I guess. They are working the shit out of the people that live there. The people who used to work there, they have run away out into the middle of the wilderness and have created their own town. And the boss of Edgewater wants me to find them and to bring them back. I either can uh, take their power supply because I need it for my ship in order to get off this planet, or I can not take their power and take the power from edgewater and give it back to the people that live in the other town i forgot what the other town is called anyway while i was in edgewater they were teaching me how to open up a door like how to pick a lock and i accidentally did it in front of a townsfolk and now the whole goddamn town is after me trying to beat my ass is there a vending machine around here that i can steal from nope it is out of stock but i could pick this criminal activities trespassing lock picking hacking and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society a board being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequence. I'm out. <laughs> oh shit! He's shooting at goddamn. Oh, I gotta be out. They really popped off. Well, time for me to heal up. I'm out. Leave! <laughs> Damn. All I did was open up the door. So if he's not looking, I can take all of that and get away with it. We have a cobble exosuit, energy cell, heavy ammo, mag pick, thick cartridge. Let's do it. All right, we're just gonna casually leave. Goodbye. <laughs> so if I walk in there, will they start shooting at me? Why? Why are they still mad at me? Oh my gosh. See it. Can I talk to somebody to like make them calm down? Can I run into police? All right, we just gotta be out. Open the door, open the door. <laughs> I, I didn't want to have to do that. I don't want to kill all of Par Parvati's family. I'm trying to get the cheeks and I can't do that if I kill everyone she used to know and love. I don't really know if she loves them currently, but I don't really want to, you know, kill her whole family and have her do it. I did want to get unlock all the companions too while we're at it. All right, anybody got a bed? Wow. All right, we're gonna sleep for 12 hours. I'm gonna do this four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have slept for an entire 48 hours. A whole entire 48 hours. They must have forgiven me now, right? It's been, it's been two days since I last stole something from that dude. Hopefully he forgot all about it and they just let me wander through the town. I don't want to have to kill all Parvati's family. Like, look, I did that. That was me. That was me that did that. She's face down, ass up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I think they might kill me. 
I I think they might. No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. I was an accident. It was an accident. I don't want to do this. I did not mean. I did not want to do this. I just opened the tutorial. Literally told me to open up the door. I did it as exactly as they said it. And they're like, warning: if you do that in front of people, they're all gonna be mad at you. And like literally, as I opened the door, it gave me that warning. I don't want to do this. I I I mean no harm to nobody. Please let them just be regular right now. Nope. Heard something outside. Incoming. Why? Hey, don't hurt me. I don't want to. Don't hurt me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm about to lay all y'all out now. I didn't want to have to do this. I feel like I'm I'm gonna like reset the game or something. Goodbye. I didn't want to have to do any of this. I know you're just sitting there praying. I'm sorry. And like there goes a the companion I can never get again because I just killed him. Damn, I shot him so hard, both his legs got bust off. Well, I didn't want to have to do any of this. Goodbye. This is dumb. I feel like I just need to restart the game. <laughs> Alright. So here we are. Alright. So we're going to save the game here. And then we're going to quit. I do want to keep this playthrough. Because this is going to be my first playthrough. Like my first playthrough. Blind playthrough. I do want to keep where I'm at here. But I need to start that over again. That I want to see if I can actually get the desired outcome that I want. And I'm going to do it in Supernova. I'm going to do it in the hardest difficulty where I have to actually eat. I have to drink in order to stay alive. I have to actually sleep. Um, I want to do it like that because that wasn't too difficult to, nav to navigate that terrain. Some of those monsters are pretty hard at the beginning, but meh, meh. I'll see y'all soon.